In the bustling and unpredictable corridors of history, the wise sages of ancient Greece and Rome developed a philosophy so profound, so transformative, that it remains highly relevant even in today's dynamic age. This philosophy is none other than Stoicism. At its core, Stoicism seeks to equip us with the mental tools and frameworks to lead a life of virtue and wisdom, focusing on things within our control while accepting those outside it. The Stoic pillars are firmly grounded in a few central tenets. The dichotomy of control, the pursuit of virtue, and the embrace of cosmic perspective, among others. These principles don't merely offer a new way to think, they provide a renewed way to live, especially in the face of adversity. One of the most compelling Stoic teachings revolves around the concept of failure. In an age where society often magnifies success and glosses over setbacks, Stoicism offers a refreshing take. It argues that setbacks aren't mere roadblocks or points of shame. They're invaluable lessons, reminders, and even, at times, blessings in disguise. While the world may perceive failure as a symbol of inadequacy, the Stoics view it as an opportunity, a chance to grow, reflect, and refine oneself. It's not about the fall, but how one rises, learns, and persists that truly defines a Stoic. In this exploration, we're about to embark on a journey to reframe our perspective on failure through the lens of Stoicism. Prepare to challenge societal norms, question existing beliefs, and embrace setbacks as stepping stones towards genuine growth and enlightenment. Transitioning from our foundational understanding of Stoicism, it's crucial to trace back to the roots, to the very thinkers who breathed life into this philosophy. Stoicism wasn't merely an intellectual exercise. It was born, nurtured, and polished amidst real-world challenges. Many of its most profound lessons were derived not from abstract theorization, but from visceral, lived experiences. The annals of history spotlight three luminaries as central figures in Stoic thought. Seneca, the wealthy advisor, Marcus Aurelius, the Roman emperor, and Epictetus, the former slave. While their societal statuses varied dramatically, they shared a unifying theme. Each confronted significant adversity and found solace and strength in Stoicism. Seneca, born to affluence, faced both the privileges and perils of power. His writings often mull over the fleeting nature of material wealth and the true essence of riches, the wealth of the mind. His eventual forced suicide on orders from Emperor Nero became the ultimate testament to his teachings, confronting death with a calm acceptance. Marcus Aurelius, often in the tents on the battlefronts, wrote his meditations not as a publication for the masses, but as personal notes to himself. His reflections on the nature of power, the fleetingness of life, and the inevitability of setbacks are all the more poignant given his status as the most powerful man in the known world. His reign was riddled with challenges, from wars to plagues, and yet his writings reflect tranquility amidst chaos. Then we have Epictetus, whose life started in chains but ended in wisdom. Born a slave, he would later gain his freedom and become one of the most influential Stoic philosophers. His teachings revolved around the dichotomy of control, emphasizing that while we might not have control over external events, we always have control over our reactions. His own journey from bondage to freedom profoundly shaped this perspective. Each of these philosophers, with their diverse backgrounds and varied trials, contributed uniquely to the Stoic doctrine. Their individual confrontations with failure, loss, and adversity not only cemented the principles of Stoicism, but also showcased the philosophy's universality. Regardless of one's station in life, Stoicism offers a beacon, guiding us to face setbacks not with despair, but with grace, understanding, and resilience. As we dive deeper into Stoicism's views on failure, understanding the lives and challenges of these philosophers provides a vivid backdrop reinforcing that the teachings are not just ancient words, but timeless wisdom born from real struggles. Failure as a teacher. Drawing inspiration from the real-life trials of Stoic philosophers, it's imperative to internalize one of the most central Stoic beliefs, that setbacks and failures aren't mere misfortunes, but valuable life lessons. This perspective shift not only helps in dealing with the immediate emotional repercussions of failures, 
but also in cultivating a mindset ready to glean insights from every situation. While most educational systems and societal structures honor theoretical knowledge, Stoicism posits that genuine wisdom often stems from lived experiences. Bookish knowledge, however rich, has its limitations. After all, reading about a storm isn't the same as weathering one. It's in the heart of the storm, amid the gusting winds and pouring rain, that real lessons are learned. Similarly, it's often in the throes of adversity and failure that we gain the most profound insights about ourselves and the world. One can draw a parallel here with the process of metallurgy. Just as metals are refined by being subjected to intense heat, individuals too are refined and strengthened by the challenges they face. Each setback, each failure acts as a furnace, burning away the impurities of ignorance, arrogance, and short-sightedness, leaving behind a more resilient and enlightened individual. But there's a nuance here. Not every setback automatically translates into wisdom. It's the stoic approach to these setbacks, the disciplined reflection, and the commitment to personal growth that transforms a mere event into a life lesson. When we face failures with this stoic mindset, we begin to see them not as final destinations, but as signposts, pointing us toward deeper understanding and self-improvement. In embracing this perspective, we begin to value failures differently. While success often brings happiness and validation, it's in the quiet moments after setbacks that we encounter the most profound growth. Success may teach us what to do, but failure, with its stinging bite, teaches us what not to do, thereby forging a path towards true wisdom and self-awareness. As we journey further into Stoic philosophy, it becomes evident that failure isn't just an event, but an essential catalyst, accelerating personal evolution and fostering a deeper connection with the world's realities. Embracing the Dichotomy of Control Building on the Stoic appreciation of failure, we're led to one of Stoicism's pivotal teachings, the dichotomy of control. It's a simple yet profound distinction that can alter our perception of failures, setbacks, and even successes. While failures offer lessons, not all are within our dominion to prevent. The world is filled with variables beyond our reach. Stoicism teaches us to recognize and differentiate between the aspects we can influence and those we cannot. By discerning this, we position ourselves to act more effectively with less unnecessary anguish. Imagine standing on a shoreline, attempting to command the waves. Such an endeavor would be futile. But if you choose to adjust your stance, understanding the rhythm of the tide, you can stand firm without being swept away. Similarly, when faced with setbacks, Stoicism encourages us to ask, was this within my control? If it wasn't, there's little point in unnecessary self-blame or regret. Instead, the Stoic approach invites acceptance. By celebrating failures as moments that highlight this dichotomy, we don't just gain insight, but also cultivate a sense of peace. It's a serene acknowledgement, an exercise in understanding our boundaries and reveling in the freedom that comes from letting go of the uncontrollable. In the grand tapestry of life, while our actions matter, certain outcomes remain elusive. Recognizing this grants us not only wisdom, but also an empowering tranquility amidst life's tumultuous seas. Building Resilience Through Setbacks Transitioning from the calm acceptance of what's beyond our control, we dive deeper into the Stoic crucible, the active molding of our character. Stoicism isn't just about understanding the world, it's also about refining oneself. And how better to do that than through the challenges we face? Every setback, in the Stoic's eyes, isn't a point of despair, but an arena. It's a place of training, an opportunity. Like the blacksmith uses fire and hammering to shape and strengthen metal, adversities play a similar role in forging our mental strength. They are the fires that temper our spirit, making it more resilient, more robust, and more resistant to future trials. Consider Marcus Aurelius, the Roman emperor. His reign wasn't without challenges, from plagues to wars, yet he viewed these not as personal affronts, but as chances to grow, learn, and adapt. He wrote in his meditations about the idea that everything we face is of the nature of the whole, and thus it can be used to refine our nature, and therein lies the silver lining. When faced with failures, instead of wallowing in them, Stoics challenge us to ask, what can this teach me? How can it make me stronger? 
With every setback, there's a lesson buried, a nugget of wisdom that, when internalized, makes us better prepared for future adversities. It's about transforming from being fragile or merely robust into being anti-fragile. Not just enduring challenges, but thriving because of them. By reframing setbacks as opportunities for growth, we lay the foundation for a future self that's not just resilient, but also adaptable, wise, and mentally fortified for whatever life has in store. The Nature of Impermanence As we revel in the strengths developed from setbacks, we must also remember another fundamental Stoic teaching, the transitory nature of all things. Everything is in a state of flux, and this includes both our victories and our defeats. This realization offers a fresh perspective on failure, placing it within the broader tapestry of life's transient moments. Seneca once wrote, Fortune gives us nothing which we can really own. Everything is borrowed, from our joys to our sorrows. Embracing this, we come to see that the weight of our failures isn't as heavy as we initially believed. They are but fleeting moments in the grand expanse of time. Just as we shouldn't overly attach ourselves to success, we shouldn't let failures define us either. Both are passing phases, and neither determine our intrinsic value or potential. This concept also brings forth the idea of detachment, not in a nihilistic way, but in a manner that allows us to step back, observe, and reflect without being consumed by the events unfolding around us. When we understand that both the peaks and valleys of our life are ephemeral, we can look upon them with a certain kind of serene detachment. We aren't indifferent to our experiences, but rather discerning and balanced in our reactions. By anchoring ourselves in the understanding of impermanence, failures lose their sting. They become just another occurrence in the flowing river of life, reminding us of the need for humility and success and offering perspective in moments of doubt. In this way, Stoicism teaches us to be grounded, helping us navigate life's uncertainties with grace and equanimity. Failure as a Reminder of Humility From the ephemeral nature of success and failure, we transition into a lesson just as vital, the importance of humility. Stoicism teaches us that the universe doesn't revolve around our desires, nor does it conspire against them. Each setback, in this light, becomes a humbling reminder of our place within the grand tapestry of existence. There's a certain arrogance that can arise from continuous success, it's the belief that we are invincible, favored, or even that our methods are without flaw. However, Epictetus warned, first, say to yourself what you would be, and then do what you have to do. This reflection emphasizes self-awareness and the understanding that our aspirations require constant effort, reflection, and adaptation. Failures act as an essential ego check. They come as timely reminders when we may drift too far into the realm of hubris. Just when we might start to think of ourselves as infallible, a setback can bring us back to earth, reminding us of our fallibility. Such moments aren't punishments, but rather opportunities for introspection. Are we truly as wise as we believe, or have we merely been fortunate? This isn't to paint failure as a vindictive force. Instead, it's to understand its role in grounding us. To be humble is not to think less of oneself, but to think of oneself less. It is through humility that we open ourselves up to learn, adapt, and grow. Each failure reminds us of our imperfections, and in doing so, illuminates the path to betterment. It's a call to return to the basics, to reassess and rebuild with a clearer, more grounded perspective. Marcus Aurelius once noted, Very little is needed to make a happy life. It is all within yourself, in your way of thinking. By embracing humility and recognizing failure as its catalyst, we reframe our mindset. We begin to see our setbacks not as insurmountable barriers, but as stepping stones, refining our character and leading us towards a more profound understanding of both the world and ourselves. Cosmic Perspective, a speck in the universe. From the introspection that humility offers, let's elevate our viewpoint to an even grander scale, the cosmos. Stoicism often pushes us to step back, urging a broader perspective. When we do, we're confronted with a humbling reality our relatively minute existence within the vast universe. Gazing at the night sky dotted with countless stars, it's hard not to feel the weight of our insignificance. Seneca once remarked, We are all chained to fortune. The chain of one is made of gold and wide, while that of another is short and rusty. 
regardless of our individual successes or failures, in the grand tapestry of the universe, we are but fleeting moments. Our daily setbacks, which can seem so monumental, are mere blips when set against the backdrop of cosmic time. Remembering this doesn't diminish our personal experiences but offers a valuable frame of reference. The weight of our failures lightens when we understand their relative insignificance in the universe's epic narrative. Marcus Aurelius captured this essence by saying, Think of the whole universe of matter and how small your share. By acknowledging our speck-like existence amidst the vastness, we can find solace. Failures, then, are not world-ending catastrophes but mere moments in time, urging us to move forward, learn, and adapt as the universe continues its eternal dance around us. Practical Stoicism, Integrating Lessons into Daily Life From our cosmic contemplations, we're brought back to Earth, to the ground beneath our feet, and the day-to-day -day experiences that craft our lives. But how does one integrate these stoic principles into daily existence? The grandeur of the universe is awe-inspiring. Yet our immediate challenges demand tangible solutions. To truly embrace the Stoic philosophy means more than just understanding its teachings. It's about weaving them into our daily routines. Stoics like Marcus Aurelius penned their thoughts, worries, and revelations daily, turning introspection into a ritual. Such daily reflections or journaling act as a mirror to our souls, allowing us to confront our fears, dissect our failures, and chart a course forward. In addition to journaling, there are stoic exercises designed specifically for personal growth. One powerful technique involves visualizing worst-case scenarios. This negative visualization, as some term it, prepares the mind for potential failures, softening the blow if they do occur and illuminating the path if they don't. Another exercise is the practice of voluntary discomfort, occasionally subjecting oneself to minor inconveniences or discomforts like taking a cold shower or fasting for a day conditions the mind to be undeterred by unexpected challenges, making failures less daunting. By adopting these stoic practices and exercises, we build a mental framework that not only helps us navigate the setbacks of today, but also fortifies us for the uncertainties of tomorrow. Reorienting our relationship with failure. Amid the vast expanse of the cosmos and the tangible reality of our daily existence, there emerges a compelling truth. Our perception of events, particularly failures, holds monumental power over our personal growth trajectory. Drawing from our exploration of stoic practices and the sheer insignificance of our position in the universe, it becomes increasingly clear that our personal setbacks, no matter how daunting they might seem, are mere blips in the grand timeline of existence. In changing our perception, we shift the narrative. Instead of viewing failures as grim finalities or condemnations of our worth, we can begin to see them as instructive events, each providing a unique lesson. Just as the Stoics derived wisdom from adversity, it is up to us to glean valuable insights from our disappointments and setbacks. Such an approach nudges us from desolation into a realm of empowerment, where every misstep becomes an invaluable stepping stone on our path to growth. Furthermore, as we dissected Stoic exercises and daily practices, we find another crucial insight the conscious choice to apply this ancient philosophy in our modern existence. It's one thing to understand Stoicism intellectually. It's another to genuinely live by its principles. Every challenge, every setback, offers a chance to apply these teachings, to shift our reactions from anguish to contemplation, from despair to resilience. This is the Stoic call to action, loud and clear. A clarion call that beckons us to not shy away from adversities but to meet them head on, with the profound understanding that within them lies the true essence of life's teachings. It's through the trials by fire that we emerge not scorched, but refined, not defeated, but fortified. To wrap up our journey, let's remember, every fall offers a lesson, every adversity, a chance to grow. Embracing this perspective means not just surviving, but thriving in the real world for it's in the darkest nights that stars shine brightest. It's amidst life's greatest challenges that our true potential unfurls.